hurricane during the earthquakes in Puerto Rico fled to Miami, but when they got here, they had nowhere to go and they found refuge inside Miami International Airport until a local activist stepped in to help. NBC6 reporter Andrea Martinez is at the Miami International Airport with their story here. Andrea. Good evening. Yeah, this is where the family spent the last two nights and where they will be flying out of tomorrow morning. They say that they came to Miami to get away from those devastating earthquakes that just keep happening in Puerto Rico. But when they came here, things didn't go quite as planned and they needed all the help they could get. A young couple and their one-year-old baby finally getting some relief and a place to sleep after spending nearly 40 hours living at the Miami airport. They landed in Miami desperately seeking refuge from the series of earthquakes that have rocked their island in recent weeks. It's not easy, says Shakira Oliveira. I had to leave Puerto Rico for my child. They have no family here and no one to turn to back home, their situation isn't any better. Their home in Guanica, an area most affected by recent quakes, was destroyed. They had plans to stay with a relative, but the relative has pets and their baby has asthma. They realized that coming to Miami in such a hurry had been a, you know, a problem with no plan. Natasha Otero is a Puerto Rican community activist based in Miami. She's coordinating efforts to help the family. They said that they had been sleeping in their car and it became unbearable. So they were desperate to find a way outside of Puerto Rico at the moment. Otero says word spread on social media and soon local business owners donated food and plane tickets. They haven't taken a shower. They haven't eaten. So we are providing them all that they need until tomorrow morning. In the morning, they'll get back on a flight to the island where they will stay with family. A plan in place for now, since the family says the uncertainty on the island is no place for the future of their child. And with the threat of even more earthquakes looming in Puerto Rico, Otero, that activist you just heard from, says that she is willing to help the family if they do decide to come back to Miami permanently. For now, reporting live from Miami International Airport, Andrea Martinez, NBC6 News.